Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you the uh, Vola phone running Ubuntu Touch and I want to uh, yeah, show you the user interface and my first steps that I did in this user interface. So So what we have here is Ubuntu Touch with its um, basic UI. So the first thing that I did is not checking the battery level, but, which by the way is very slow in charging. Not sure what's going on. I connected to my uh, Wi-Fi here, which I can do via this menu. Just click on the Wi-Fi you want to connect to and that's it. So the next thing that I did is, um, or what I want to do right now is maybe go into settings and check if there are some updates so we go into settings here and it takes a while but it says already updates available so let's click on this one here and these are updates for applications so I click on update all and I guess they will be updated right now and um, let me go back I can show you I also switched to the language I can go to language language and text and here I have like keyboard layouts that I can choose uh, keyboard theme and on the top I have the language that I can choose after you select the language it will uh, restart the device and then you have like the whole operating system running in English I find it a little bit cumbersome to go back I try like to do this to go back uh, or try to swipe like this like on selfish chest but you have to tip tap on the on the top which is a bit cumbersome I would say Anyway, what you can do here right now is like after all the updates are installed, I want to go to updates down here. It is still installing, I think, checking for updates. I wonder if there's a system wide update as well. Um, don't see it here, so maybe there's no system wide update. I wonder what Libertine is. Ubuntu Classic Application Manager for Classic support, probably Ubuntu Touch uh, Classic Applications. Um, what I noticed is also that in settings there's no option for setting up my fingerprint. So security and privacy. Ah, fingerprint ID. There is one. Add fingerprint. Interesting. I was searching for this. Insert my fingerprint in here. Let's lock the device and try out to unlock the device. Press on the fingerprint. Not much happens. So fingerprint ID is in there. Can just give it a name as well um, locking and unlocking so lock security maybe I have to change it to fingerprint yeah I have to change it to fingerprint which is a bit weird usually I would like having both and okay uh, I think I have to like press once nothing happens another time then it wakes up and then another time for unlocking so three times mm, it's a bit weird anyway that is possible as well and uh, when it comes to uh, yeah bluetooth i can can uh, just connect to bluetooth the device is ubuntu phablet called ubuntu phablet i can add a vpn connection so if i want to uh, use vpn i can go in here type in service stuff certificates uh, it doesn't seem to be as easy as I want it to be, like just adding a, a VPN file. I can turn on a hotspot if I would like to. I don't have a SIM card inside uh, right now, but this would be possible. For some reason it's not going back. And uh, we can set a background. So there are various different artworks here that I can use for a background setting. By default it's using this. Let's change it maybe to this sun. Click on set and uh, how do I get back to my desktop? Only like this I think. And with this, no. I have to click up here. So here I can get to the multitasking view, but how do I get to the desktop? I don't think I can go back to the desktop, can I? No, this is only starting the launcher this way. So the, this is like a little bit getting used to. So apparently you cannot go back to the desktop if you have applications open um, to see the new wallpaper that you set up. Uh, time and date you can set up here. It is automatically, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi, it will automatically correct time and date. 
it works fine under accounts i can create various different accounts like evernote i can connect with my next cloud or own cloud generic cardaf and even google uh, so these are the accounts that i can use um, notification settings i have here for various different applications uh, there are four applications where i can set the notifications for and yeah i have some battery settings like uh, you can see the battery stats slowly going down and then charging for some reason charging is very slow so even though i used a pd charger which should have 18 watts it is like very slow but it has like 5000 milliampere hours uh, battery so maybe that's the reason why it is so slow um, mouse and touchpad which is interesting i don't have a mouse attached to it but apparently i can attach a mouse to it and then security and privacy which i already showed you then about and reset these are basically all the applications you have no quick toggles for flight mode and rotation log as well and that's it so let's check some applications so there's a calculator installed by default and they take a little bit while to load those applications uh, but if you want to calculate something you can see it works pretty fine uh, the next thing that i want to show you is um, calendar it's already a calendar up here if you swipe down to by the way you can also which is what I, which i notice is hold here and then swipe left and right to go to the various different options which is i think pretty handy and here you can go also and see a calendar you can see your time and you can go directly into the clock application which allows you to set up a timer and we have to allow access for the current location if we want to so just use the current location and it is uh, here you can set like uh, at a city various different uh, uh, time zones if you want to do this and then of course you have also the ability to go here to stopwatch and a timer and uh, where are the you can here you have a, a swipe menu you can either press on it or swipe it doesn't work for me Maybe it's deactivated. You can go to settings as well. We have some settings that you can set up, like the alarm volume, alarm stops after snooze, uh, alarm sound, and uh, so on. Uh, the time zone that is used. Uh, how do I go to the? How do I go to the setting up an alarm option? I don't know. And calendar here is it maybe another app it should be the clock app but i don't know how to go ah you can swipe up for the alarms huh? just like hold a bit longer you can add an alarm if you want to so this is also possible um yeah let's go here and i think the ui is pretty fluid but it has some stutters here in there the camera app i showed you already the camera samples in my last video at the end so you can take a look at the this is the camera pretty simple camera you can take photos here you can focus on something like this wonderfully cleaned keyboard and uh, swipe one way or another to see the photo and you can see that uh, the photo is quite detailed i would say so pretty nice the only thing that you can do is like go back to your photo roll there you can see my two videos that i did yesterday and uh, you can go to the gallery apparently where you can have the same thing which is uh, why how do we get back like this and then you have some other options here like edit share um, image information which gives you some information basic information about the image sadly no resolution information for example which might be hand handy you can delete the um, photo you have an about which will just tell you the about of the camera application oops and now i switch to the web browser which i didn't want to and you have some settings as well for the camera application just like uh, add a stamp of um, captured images a blurred overlay and only blur preview yeah these are the settings so basic settings now I'm back to the camera application and what you can see here is uh, have the option to switch the camera then you can see how i'm recording here right now so this is possible has a nice animation to it and i can go into video mode as well and now i'm in video mode and now i can click the record button to record a video so this is basically everything that you can do 
but there's also a little button if you click on it you have some other options just like uh, turning on location services automatic um, flashlight hdr capturing on or off so if you want to capture hdr which is pretty nice you can have grid lines on and you have the option to have a normal quality high quality or fine quality by default it is normal quality jpegs you have a timer 5 and 15 seconds only you can record with voice on or vibrate or off i don't know what this is maybe it is like if notifications come and then you can set the resolution for some reason it is set to 12 megapixels instead of 16 megapixels which this is supported but in 4.3 format it supports 16 mega or 15 megapixels as it says here and you can see that the ui changes slightly so if you want to take higher quality images just change it to this uh, 16 megapixels uh, yeah uh, this is uh, the camera application let's go out of here and let's start another application contacts so where you can have uh, various different contacts so all of favorites and it's loading some contacts i can import from google import from a vcard file if i want to or just swipe up and create a new contact here first name last name and i can enter some details I have some fields that i can add you can see there are lots and lots of uh, information that i can add not as much as i'm used to from selfish as but still there are some information that i can add external drives is apparently a file manager link which allows you to see uh, SD cards um, or even USB sticks or something like this. Then there's a file manager itself. Why it's not built in, I don't know. Uh, which has like restricted access, as you can see here. So I have the option to um, uh, have the option to change the uh, uh, restricted access. And uh, so what I can do is just simply uh, unlock this. And this allows me to edit stuff in the root folders and so on. Otherwise, I have documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos. And under videos, you can see the camera. And there I have like the two videos that I recorded yesterday. And if I click on it, it says um, open file. I can open it in a preview. I can see the properties of the file if I want to. So here you can see properties, where it's located when it was created. And the, that's basically all. Um, and of course, I can just simply preview it. And it will preview in the media player in this case. Uh, so I now, uh, now you can hear recording with the front-facing camera and the inbuilt microphone. Oh, yeah, pause and it's this. quite good. Uh, yeah. uh, I can pause this as well. Of course, this is a default media player. The audio is bad, I would say, but I didn't listen to music here yet. So it's just like the first time I'm using it. So uh, what can I do in the file manager? I can create new folders or files even, empty files probably. What is this here? It doesn't do anything. Uh, then there's information button for the current folder and a configuration button which allows me to set uh, the show hidden files, default open action by default. I can view it as list or icons and the size of the list and sorting I can change as well as the theme. So it's using the system theme right now. I can also switch to a dark theme if I want to. Uh, what I find a little bit not intuitive like i said is i have to uh i can refresh of course for the, i have to go to the top here so i have to have a second hand because if i'm holding this in one hand it is impossible to go back at least i don't see a way to go back sometimes if you swipe up it goes back i noticed i'm not sure why maybe it's like in certain applications anyway let's go to the browser i think this is more interesting for some people and uh, yeah for some reason it went to the ubiports camera translation ah because because for before i clicked on some link anyway i have the browser here which has like the new window new private window the share option and the share option only has the messaging right now here the messaging app right now so it's a global thing history find in page download settings view source uh, zoom in and save and print to pdf and of course i can see here that this is an encrypted https uh, site and uh, i can go to various other sites we can see here the keyboard uh, which uh, is i think this is the optimized version for typing in urls so if i just go to for example neptuneos.com i can I think also use this um, button here yeah.com 
then hit enter it will start loading it's pretty fast in terms of loading and uh, has support for various different uh, sites and we can also visit youtube this way so let's go here and uh, visit uh, youtube.com and you will see that it will go to the mobile youtube website and we can like say uh, that we want to watch a video here uh, this is on full volume of course it's showing advertisements here I can press uh, skip I can go into full screen here and you can see that it's playing pretty nicely I uh, don't think I can like I cannot stretch it out in the video player but yeah this is this and uh, yeah so YouTube videos are seemingly working fine and let's go back here and I have some other videos here that we can watch if you want to that's the browser pretty nice Let, let's go to HTML5 test maybe HTML5 test.com keyboard works pretty nicely reminds me a bit of the Android keyboard which I think is nice 478 uh, points here so you can see and as you can see it is pretty good I have to lock the brightness a bit on my uh, video camera so it has all the major codec supports here h265 is not supported but the rest is supported so it looks pretty nice also scrolling is i think not the fluid most fluid thing that i saw already but it is i think pretty okay then we have the music player here i don't have music on board but let's see how the interface looks like so welcome to music enjoy your favorite music import music via sd card or uh, by attaching the phone to oops attaching the phone to um to a computer or you can download new music directly imported by browsing online so let's start no music found okay this is uh, the information that i have to download some music a little while we have this and we can uh, look at the other stuff uh, notes for example and let it download in the background we have the option to sync up our notes with Evernote we can set it up or say not now I can say understood and I can create new notes here notes uh, just click here on new Go new note we have a new notebook that we can use by default and then we have some options down here like for example we can have check boxes we can have attached attachments from uh, different files or something like this then we have some formatting options here also adding uh, lists for example and what is this here uh, this is uh, other formatting options just like bold italic underline and uh, changing the size and color of the font and we can go back with our options here and close this all up if you want to uh, stop editing this file we have here the option to set a uh, date for this uh, file as a to-do for example and there's another option here to add text to this file and of course we can go in here and edit the file again we have option for the alarm and so on so this is pretty cool pretty handy and uh, we can scroll up by the way on the keyboard to cut copy and paste stuff and also we can like uh, go left or right the cursor which is i think also a pretty handy option to have this directly here on the keyboard then we have uh, some uh, notebooks that we can see here we can create new notebooks we have the tags and we have time and day so we can sort those um, documents or notes that we created and there's an hamburger menu that allows us to set up the account for evernote we can search for notes and we have some other options just like for example using the theme uh, for the notes app so this is the notes app and uh, let's see if our morph browser downloaded stuff it's still downloading stuff it's a bit slow by the way you can also if you are in another app you can just swipe down and then go to i think it is files and it should show transfers of files here that have been transferred successfully so as our transfer is still going on this is not the case let's go back to the browser no it is the case it is downloaded so i'm not sure what this files 
tab does because nothing is showing up maybe uh, you need another browser for this so what happens if i click on this i can open up this file only with the file manager apparently and yeah it's not showing up here it's not under music i think it should be under downloads and it's an mp3 file so let's just uh, mark this file and if i mark this file can can i go back and say okay here and then save here yeah okay this is the copy function apparently yeah, it's a copy function um yeah okay that's that's it so i can copy stuff apparently let's go back to the music application and there we can see free pd music as album and i can then play this one file and this is how the music player looks like pretty nice music player let's go down with the sound a bit uh, album art here play pause and uh, yeah loop through music you have a shuffle function you have a queue function where you can see the queue you can delete the music you can add uh, to another playlist or queue you can go back you can shuffle through this album and you have some other options here as well for the music like keep screen on while playing the music pretty interesting yeah you can sort by albums by artists by genres or by tracks also pretty nice you have a search option as well you can create playlists if you want to so this is the uh, music application it reminds me of a simple music application that you can also get from android for example then we have terminal of course it's a linux based system so this is what you're waiting for probably we have to enter the our super secret pin to access the terminal now we have the terminal here we can take a look for example at the kernel version here which is uh, 4.4 146 and then we have ub ports let's click on ub ports and see what this does uh, welcome to ub ports we can change the future let's innovate and dream again and uh, this is, seems to be a community app for the ub ports ubuntu touch based operating system that we have running here anyway uh, there's a weather app as well so let's try this out as well at cologne Cologne, Northern Westphalia. Now it has the right one, nine degrees here. Can I click on this? Yeah, get more information then. Scattered clouds, as you can see here, feels like one degree. Ooh. Uh, humidity 66%. You can see the weather forecast for uh, the next uh, hours and the next days as well. So mm -hmm. where you can get applications from, which is the open store. With the open store you have the ability to download applications most of those applications that i found uh, scrolling through it before was like um, yeah web apps and some games but there are some applications just like most loved application um, <coughs> teleports which seems to be a telegram client have a look at other applications yuna for example which seems to be a navigation software simple and easy so let's download this and as you can see while it is downloading you cannot browse the store that's a bit cumbersome i would say so you cannot download in the background and uh, what is it doing here the files no it's location service is turned even on yeah it's turned on i have some location settings as well that again change it goes to my settings application oh, and now using gps not at all and which application are allowed to uh, go and see the location also newly installed applications appear here and all running applications appear in this bar by the way so you can switch easily between those applications you don't have to like go into this uh, 3d 3d overview to switch between the applications that you have open uh, which can be a bit cumbersome as you can see here free applications you can see at the same time but well, that's all and here in the bar you can see all of the applications and switch pretty easily to them if you need to so let's open up new enough and yeah seems to be using a website or something let's try to see if it finds me allow yes waiting for gps can take a while of course 
have some options as well in UNAV, like I have the option to set the units as well as alert for speed cameras, use highways by default for navigation and uh, use road with tolls, uh, view optimized for car, uh, speak instructions as well and online services are map, search and route. So these are the options here, yeah, it's still waiting for the GPS, now it found me, GPS and yeah, pretty accurate I would say, found me here in Cologne. Uh, I don't think you can download some map material, you can search for stuff, like, let's search for uh, Cathedral, to see it finds the Cologne Cathedral, otherwise we will search for McDonald's. Mm, found somewhere else, of course, if I search for Cathedral, you have to search in my city first and show it first and not like something else, which is like a bit dumb dumb. So let's take a look here. Now Cologne Cathedral, it's seeing this, click here, it's going there, we can see the Cologne Cathedral. We don't have much information about the Cologne Cathedral, we can set it up as a star, we can go and navigate to it, we calculate a route now via car, via bike or walking and uh, do we see anything? Six kilometers, nine minutes by car and when we will arrive you can also start the navigation here and it is also talking with me turn uh, right it says and yeah okay this seems to be working fine so this is a nice little application authentication manager there's deco2 which is i think an email client yeah i was searching for an email client this looks like an email client that you can install and use so these are, I think, uh, this app has restricted access to the system, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> these are basically, this is, I think, for the first overview, it is, I think, good enough. I will play a little bit with this and uh, it was a pretty long video, wasn't it? So, uh, oh, you ad block, which also nice not to have an ad blocker. Anyway, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You can ask questions in the comment sections and I will try to answer them regarding the uh, Voller phone running Ubuntu Touch and uh, yeah, my first experiences with uh, Ubuntu, my yeah, first experiences since a few years with Ubuntu Touch again, at least the first version of Ubuntu Touch uh, from UbiPorts. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.